day guys this is a quick little video that I was just cleaning up some uh, paints from my last uh, video that I did where I mixed Montmartre paints with Floetrol and i would made some custom colours up and I just thought oh I wonder if I just drop the paint onto the um, well this is just a little MDF round so I've put some water, uh, some uh, just plain old paint on there. Um, so I'm going to just try and see if I can get this came up and it looks so pretty. Um, I just thought oh, I'll give this another go on camera because it's something you guys can give it. What I did was in my previous video, I mixed the Montmartre Studio acrylics up, uh, say 50-50 with flow trials, which I don't normally use flow trial as my pouring medium. So I've mixed up these custom colours that I made. I will go through them as I go along um, and tell you what they are. So they're all uh, the Montmartre Studio acrylics and as you know Montmartre, we probably know now, Montmartre has come out with in Australia the gold which is absolutely gorgeous but what I did with my gold is I added a um, burnt umber to the gold and that's turned out this gorgeous coffee colour and I added the phalo blue to silver which turned out this oh absolutely stunning steel metallic blue and I put some silver into the burnt sienna so it's got this lovely metallic sienna now um, and I did the black well I did silver and I added black so anyway I was just testing this and it came out so which I thought was cool I haven't done much with it I quickly got my camera back on again and I thought I'm gonna go and do some more little what I just did there with this because it was just so nice and fine and lacy I thought oh let's get into this and see what this works out like so that was my uh well i'm calling it my my it's kind of like a, a metallic gray which i made up so i'm going to add some of the metallic gold i just thought i'd get my camera running because if i just post a picture of this on my facebook page i know that there's so many going to say where where how how did you do that have you got a video and I have so I'm running my video so this is just the burnt umber plain burnt umber the Montmartre studio acrylics as I normally tell you all my pouring medium um, recipes are on the bottom but I will add how I made these particular little batch up of beauties um, but they have links to the suppliers in Australia of all of my things that I use. Um, they're family run business and I love them. And I also have links there to uh, USA, Canada. And I believe everything that I use here, you can get um, on Amazon if you're in the UK or Europe. So nobody need go without. And this is that gorgeous steel blue so I'm gonna put some of that on top because it came out so nice I might try the metallic grey on some of them maybe what shall I try on the last one um, oh, I might just go plain old white this is plain old white okay and what I did is I just got my it's just a stainless steel drawer so a straw and it with a silicon end normally you would drink out of the silicon end so you can wash that but uh, this is what I like to do with mine
So it's certainly no complicated bloom recipe. And I would normally use my boom gel, but look how pretty this is coming out. Just such a simple pimple thing as using my um, Montmartre Studio acrylics and just the deep, just mix with Floetrol instead of um, PVA. So it just gives a whole different sort of effect. Um, gives a lacy kind of, I think it's kind of uh, uh, tilting everything off here, which is not a good thing, but going a bit crazy. I might just add some more of the paint to this. I'll just tilt it over the edges. Probably would have been better if I'd covered all my edges. Look, I've, <laughs> there you go, I've gone lost it all. Um, okay, I'll just quickly put some more on. So. I should have just left it to its own devices and not tried to do this so rushed. But I just wanted to show you that it was a lovely kind of light, wispy, cloudy effect in it. Um, with gorgeous, I don't know, it kind of left lovely um, soft and delicate traces in it, lacing, or whatever you'd like to call it. But they, these colours that I've custom made up with my Montmartre. Oh, I love them, so I'm going to definitely be doing some more with these colours. Love this to be doing a big one. Um, a bit more of the sienna in there, give it a bit of some umph, umph. Still looks really quite like um, marble. Looks lovely. I like it. It's my straw. Hunky doke. Okay, I've got lightheaded now. <laughs> a bit of a different look and I reckon obviously this is nice and mellow and um, but if I did it with my bright colours I just love this kind of lacy sort of floaty look that it gives. Let me know what you think. Oh my god, I just love it. I love it with the negative space. I love that it's given a marble effect. So how cool would that be on a bigger canvas? But lovely, this is on the MDF round and it's actually got the hole in there for a clock mechanism or uh, this one is meant for a clock. So how cool will that be in a clock? Looks like a piece of marble. Let me know what you think. So there you go. No, I've had so many messages lately about this bloom. How do you do the bloom? and? I normally and absolutely always love using my Boom Gel Stain, but um, I know that it, some people just can't get it or some people can't afford it. So this is kind of, you know, well, it, it was an accident. I just mixed these paints with Floetrol, my uh, Montmartre Studio acrylics with Floetrol instead of um, the uh, clear PVA. And look what I got, just a light lacy look, and especially if it's blown. Um, so I'm really really happy with that it's just um, it's a stunner and I think it's a winner winner chicken dinner thank you guys for joining me and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel I am absolutely humbled and grateful for each and every one of you so stick with me please and look out for the next exciting episode so press the notification bell if you want to know when my next art lab experiment comes out uh, if you're a, you know, want to create some 
of your art for your own home and you're not a normally do this kind of acrylic pouring then this is a real good one for you guys so bye for now until next time